Hey, today we're going to discuss about Binance ST algorithm and the insert part of it. It's really important to understand this is going to be, be plays in a wonderful role in uh, in data section and algorithm. So it's really important to understand three uh, rules uh, before we move on to Binance ST insertion part. So what is the first rule? First rule, a uh, node or a parent should not have more than two children. If it does, it's not on a binary search tree. I mean, it's not on a binary tree, of course. And the second uh, rule, to, uh, rule to understand is the value of parent is always greater than the left child value of left child okay the value of parent is always greater than value of left child the third rule is the value of parent is always lesser than the value of right child okay third rule is the value of parent is lesser than the value of right child so if you understand these three rules it's really easy to insert an element in the binary search tree Let's move on to the theoretical understanding about uh, how do we insert a, a, a node into a binary search tree. So think that we have an empty tree, uh, empty uh, binary search tree and we are going to insert in the first element 30. Since we have an empty just insert and keep it that. Second we are going to insert 25 so recollect the uh, rules which we learned in the previous slide. So 25 is less than 30 and it should be left to 30 actually just insert the left to 30 as simple as that. So we have 50, 50 is greater than 30, or it, should, it should be right to 30, as simple as that. 27, 27 is less than 30 and it should be uh, part of left subtree since we have 25, check against 25, 27 is uh, uh, greater than 25 then it should be right to 25. So 40, 40 is greater than 30 and 40 is, uh, 40 is less than 50 and it should be left to 50, okay, as simple as that. 66, 66 is greater than 30 and then uh, it's greater than 50 as well and it should be right to 50. 5, uh, 5 is less than 30 and it, uh, moving to sub -pre, left sub -pre, and checks against 25, 25, um, um, 3, again 5 is uh, less than 25 and it should be left to 25. Next we are going to insert 3, 3 is same like it's less than 30, less than 25, less than 5, it should be left to 5 then. Okay, as simple as this simple if you understand these three rules actually. So what we are going to get out of this binary tree, right? Like we need to have a reason like why to use it actually. Think of that we have an uh, uh, like array wherein we have, we are, we, we are, we stored 255 element and if you wanted to check any particular element, um, how much time, how many comparisons you are going to do, right? Um, uh, in a worst case scenario, it's going to be 255 comparisons you are going to do it actually. But with binary search tree, how many comparisons you are going to do? Uh, just eight comparison if with 256 element if we have to find any element or insert any element okay it's going to take only eight comparisons so that that grade it is actually so think of that with the bigger value okay uh, we, we have 65,535 element in an array okay so uh, to to check um, a particular element how much maximum time uh, you are going to take it with a linear array uh, it's going to take a uh, max of uh, 65,535 comparisons, right? Uh, but with binary search tree, it's going to take just 16 comparisons, okay? Whatever element you want to write. So it's just going to take not more than 16 comparisons. That's a great of binary search tree and the performance is like order of log n, okay? That's this kind of algorithm, the scalability, when the data grows, okay, the performance is not growing proportionally. It's it's going to be, it's the performance is going to grow only in a log, log in uh, manner. So that's the uh, beauty of binary search tree. Let's move on to the coding part. <coughs> so uh, let's keep this guy uh, left to uh, uh, left to our coding uh, uh, editor because it's really important uh, to uh, refer back so first we need to um, insert the normal headers right and we need to create a structure to store uh, the value on the left pointer and right pointer isn't it okay and value this is the one which we used to store structure node pointer and it's going to be left side right side okay it's going to be not so as simple as that now we need to insert 
okay so it's going to take the uh, uh, tree okay and the value which we need to insert into the tree yeah, simple so let's come back to the code body part of insert little later and now main okay we have an, a tree okay with this empty now we are going to insert into this tree some value the value here is 30 take an example here so this is the value which we are going to insert okay okay that's fine so now think about that uh, we have an empty uh, uh, tree and we wanted to insert in a first element what you are going to do check in a first uh, root equal to null or not okay if root is null so what we need to do is we need to create the first node right we need to create a node with the value so move on to write a function which just creates and returns the node and the value which we need to create okay node star node equal to we need to type cast because it's going to be in a mlr size of the node okay we have node created and we are going to assign the value and we are going to assign the left and node right to null because what happens here is the node which we create is always going to placed in any leaf of the node so uh, we need to keep the children as null so that symbol it is so we have created the node and we are going to return this node okay that's fine so think about the second case suppose the value which we are going to insert 25 so it's lesser than 30 okay so we need to check value lesser than root of value in this case what i'm going to do is so i'm going to insert this particular node left to this guy okay then root left equal to insert and we are going to pass the left subtree with the value which we need to insert that's it done else if suppose we are going to insert 50 okay 50 use case 50 is bigger than okay then what we need to do root dot right we need to insert this node right and insert root dot right subtree we are passing and the value which we need to insert so it's done but we need to return the root as well so we are written one statement here one statement why not to do it in a single statement okay let's remove this guy and then remove this guy as well just say a root let's make it simple okay so we have element we have uh, insert code ready that's it that simple it is actually and we are going to insert four nodes okay or like, let's take it as a final 30 we have and we are in going to insert 25 and then 50 and 27 and 40 let's insert the complete tree uh, why not right 40 63653 so 40 66 uh, 5 and 3 and we need to print and see uh, whether uh, it's inserting properly or not right so let's write in a function which prints the which prints the tree you need to check if the root is not if root has something then only we need to print it otherwise we should not print 
print f uh, percentage t and just give some space so that we can easily understand. Um, we need to print the value of it and call the left subtree of root. So now uh, what we do is we just print and see the root. Okay. So that's it. Let's go and compile whether is there any DCC DST. We are going to run it. So uh, we are printing 30, right? We are printing 25, right? We are printing 5 and we are printing 3, that's right. Then we should print 27, yes, right? Then we should print 50, that's right. Then we should print 40, right? 66. So it's right, it's completely a binary tree, and we inserted seven elements into that. As simple as that. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching.